It's near Carlisle, there lived a woman And she was beautiful and gay She was of a resolution No man on earth should her betray Except it was a man of honour A man of honour and high degree Along there came two handsome brothers this fair young woman for to see. Cumbria, home to stunning lakes, dramatic mountains, and a beautiful stretch of western coastline. And to the north of the county, the borderlands of England. Just 10 miles away from the Scottish border stands the city of Carlisle, where a single structure steeped in history has dominated the skyline for 900 years. This is Carlisle Castle, with walls up to 12 feet thick, built from stone that has weathered its tumultuous history remarkably well. This extraordinary building is filled with ancient chambers, narrow stairways and endless stories. Carlisle Castle is unusual for English heritage insofar as it's a castle that's not a ruin. Over hundreds of years, successive monarchs have added to this castle and have helped to develop it as a defensive structure. The keep is a particularly good example. It was altered by Henry VIII, very much in the style of the other castles it built along the coast. It's been occupied continuously for more than 900 years since it was founded in 1092, which in itself is, is absolutely remarkable. And it's had a long and colourful history, perhaps sometimes not the colour that we would always want to see, and it's got the accolade of being the most besieged castle in the country. It's often been fought over, and it's been in both Scottish and English hands in the early 13th century. And then again, it was besieged in the Jacobite uprising of 1745. So its colourful history goes right up to the 18th century, and in some cases beyond. Carlisle has been recognised as a strategically important place over the centuries, presiding over a much contested border. For hundreds of years, battles have taken place in these parts as warring factions from England and Scotland squared off. Carlisle has long been recognised as a strategically important place over the centuries, and this has been a much, much contested border. There was a Roman settlement here called Lugavalio, and Hadrian's Wall ran just to the north. The border between Scotland and England made this a key site to be controlled in the medieval period. But it was not just the Anglo-Scottish border. There were the border reavers. Local clans, known for their cattle raids and feuds, made this area even more difficult to govern from the 13th century right up to the 17th century. The Reavers had strong clan allegiances that could sometimes come before national ones, and it meant that this area was very often under what we would now call special measures. Cattle raids were particularly common, and these often escalated as clans carried out further raids in an attempt to regain the livestock that had been stolen from them. This is a landscape of battles and feuds and shifting alliances. To pair up with this site of battles, raids and feuds, we have a song that tells a story of warring parties fighting over a woman who would have known the castle well, the Lady of Carlisle. Sung for us by Lucy Farrell, this song tells of a lady courting two men of war, a brave lieutenant and a bold sea captain. In order to put her suitors to the test, she throws her fan into the middle of a lion's den, challenging the men to retrieve her possession by facing up to a deadly beast. It's near Carlisle, there lived a woman and she was beautiful and gay She was of a resolution No man on earth should her 
betray Except it was a man of honour A man of honour and high degree Along there came two handsome brothers This fair young woman for to see Now one of them was a brave lieutenant with nerves of iron that knew no fear The other was a noble captain Of the warship Tiger Bold, Captain Carr And as they were sitting all at her table She said, I cannot be but one man's bride If you'll come back tomorrow morning Upon this matter She's told her coachman to get ready And into town they drove all three She said we'll spend but a single hour The lions and tigers for to see The lions and tigers they made such a roar Up then spoke the noble captain Madam, your offer I don't approve For in that den, that den of danger I'll never venture my life for love Well, up then spoke the bold lieutenant He's raised his voice so loud and high Well, in that den lies bloody day So in that den he straightly entered Lions and tigers, they looked fierce and grim But he's never heeded the least of danger He looked so fierce back at them again And he's ran a race all around about them And on his sword he did rely He stooped so low in the fan he's got And she saw her true love coming And that no harm to him was done Oh, how she cuddled him, how she hugged him Crying, here's the prize that you have won